199 branches across 46 countries. The company that boasts of a mammoth 285,250 employees pegged at a breathtaking $60 billion. That's Tata Consultancy Services for you. And the man behind it all, Mr. Natarajan Chandrasekharan. Chandra was born far from the hectic corporate lives of metros in a village called Mohanur in Tamil Nadu. Hailing from an agricultural family, he even tried taking up farming for six months before switching over. He graduated from Coimbatore Institute of Technology with a degree in Applied Sciences before joining what was then called the Regional Engineering College Tiruchirappalli. He had his first experience at TCS in 1986 when he came for a college project. TCS then had less than 1000 employees under its wings and Chandra did varied projects on several batch oriented machines and also worked in the internal systems department. He spent the next decade travelling around the world and during this phase he cultivated what went on to be one of his and TCS's core values, being client-centric. It gives us a lot of pleasure and indeed it's a great honor to uh, invite on the stage Mr. N. Chandrasekharan, the CEO and MD of TCS. Chandra took over as TCS's CEO in October 2009 and has led TCS to phenomenal heights since then. During the course of this, he has added many feathers to his cap, bagging the NDTV Business Leader Award of the year 2012, the AIMA Business Leader Award and CNBC Asia Business Leader Award in 2011, becoming Business Today's Best CEO of the Year in 2013, to name a few. It was exceptional managerial ability that saw Chandra being appointed as NASCOM's chairman in 2012. A man with versatility ingrained in his very blood, Chandra's love for the game of cricket is well known. He used to play a bit during his college days and as he himself says, no meeting of his is complete without a few cricket analogies. Period, uh, by, by different teams and each one of those engagements uh, really put TCS on a, on a good wicket. Indeed, while interviewing Rahul Dravid, Chandra had him on a sticky wicket with some well-directed tricky questions and wicky retorts. I, I look up to people like you. <laughs> so, <laughs> When it comes to money, Chandra is specific. You will find him having all the monetary numbers on the tip of his tongue. The influence behind this was Chandra's father, Mr. Srinivas Natarajan, from whom he learned lessons in frugality, honesty and perseverance. Something that sets Chandra apart from the flock is his ability to see opportunity in crisis. One such example is the Y2K phenomenon while the rest of the world was panicking, Chandra and TCS used this as an opportunity to turn around their business fortunes. Chandra's passion for running is not limited to the running and leading the cutthroat race in the IT world. He started running as an exercise in 2007 and is now an avid marathon runner. He is equally passionate about his daily runs to Nariman Point and the various marathons TCS sponsors all around the globe. To the exceptional man that Chandra has been, we present some messages from the people he is closest to, his friends at REC. Chandru, congratulations. I certainly do hope that this felicitation by REC or NIT as it is known now is just the beginning of many, many awards and recognitions to be bestowed upon you in the coming years. Your contribution to the IT industry and to the country is beyond par and I'm sure it is not going to be possible to beat this. We go back a long time to be exact to the time when you and I were in the 11th standard. There were a bunch of us, uh, you know, we hung out together and uh, we were busy preparing for IIT 
uh, JEE. I had no business to be part of the group, honestly, <laughs> but uh, you know, somehow destiny would have it that way. We reunited at uh, NIT or REC then for doing our MCA together. I do have very fond memories uh, of us together in REC and the all, on all the jolly good times we had together. Uh, you did set foot into TCS for your project work and since then you never looked back on anything. Uh, your impeccable focus of achieving your goals is something I wish I had and I wish everyone should have. You are a great role model for the next generation and I'm extremely proud of your accomplishments and wish you all the very best for you and your family. Hey Chandru, this is uh, PR. First off, congratulations and uh, I believe that you'll be honored at uh, REC. Uh, NIT these days. Um, again, we're just absolutely proud of you. It's really a honor for me to kind of to take a few minutes to just cherish a few moments. I think I was 66 in Pearl Hostel and um, we were either 65 or 67. We just had excellent time together. You know, I kind of remember the days that uh, you and I sat and you were kind of teaching me how to get the accounting figured out but uh, uh, that was good days and you know I think I got a couple of points more than you but <laughs> nonetheless studying was just a simple aspect for you you were just acing that we spent some time in Mumbai and um, at least for me and Ramki it was obviously clear that you're gonna you're gonna pretty much hit some some pretty unbelievable heights in your career so dedicated so uh, you know held upon holding out the goal that you want to reach so thanks for giving an opportunity uh who is putting this together again extremely proud of uh, chandru you know i know he's respectfully called chandra we uh, fondly call him chandru in um, in our rec days but uh, we are in touch and we're, we're always you know to be a good friend with you and um this is just a beginning for you chandru you know you'll hit some you know much much bigger heights all right Good luck, congratulations again. Uh, hope to chat and speak with you soon. Thank you. Hello everyone, Mr. Chandrasekharan. First, I want to congratulate you on your fantastic achievement. I am proud to be your classmate. I am happy to know that you are receiving Best Alumni Award. Congratulations once again. I still remember the day we walked into Arisha Trichy. We both moved into the college same day. If I remember correctly, his aim was to come to ES and he used to prepare for that all the time. At the time, no one knew his bright future is back in home country. Apart from studying together, myself and Chandrasagaran have one thing in common. My family temple is in his hometown, Mahanur. Every year, I visit Mahanur to go to the temple, which used to remind Chandrasagar and our college day memories. I pray Navaladi and Swami to give Chandrasagar many more success, health and happiness. Thank you for the opportunity to speak on this special occasion. Hi Chandra, hi everyone. Uh, Chandra is a close friend of uh, yours. Uh, I am very very proud of your uh, uh, success. Um, uh, um, but I think uh, the best of you is uh, yet to come. Uh, in the coming years, uh, I, we will be hearing a lot more about you and your accomplishments. May God bless you with a lot of success, and the best of health, uh, wealth and uh, happiness for you and your family. Thank you and best of luck. Hi Chandra, congratulations on all your accomplishments and best wishes for your future prospective ventures. During a summer of 1987, one particular day, you came all the way from work to my home, feeling very depressed because your mentor, Dr. A.G. Rao, was moving from Mumbai to Pune. And we really spent that night trying to console you and it took some time for you to come out of that. In 1988, you visited from California and came all the way to Florida to see me and we had some memorable time gossiping about our friends at REC. 
Wishing you all the best from California. Bye. Teaser number one. We debated a lot on the sale of gold by the Indian government in those days. Teaser number two. We met briefly on the roadside when you had come to meet Raman Roy. Teaser number three. You were very proudly mentioning the number 120,000 of TCS employees at a function posted at the Railway Museum in New Delhi. Chandru, I would have loved to be present at this function honoring you for several different reasons. You were a good friend back then, but also I remember quite vividly that even then you were kind and respectful, interested in ideas and creative solutions and open discussion. I'm sure that 25 year gap hasn't changed you despite the pressures of life and responsibility. Many that show potential in their youth don't get to reach it for many reasons. But I'm sure your de determination, optimism, hard work and creativity naturally urged you on. You used to always ask the what, why and how even when nobody knew why, what or how and didn't care, all of which I appreciated and had a similar passion for. But not all of us can transform our passion to reality. You've done it and that's an achievement. It's a great example to the younger generation and a pride for those of us that knew you, that one of our own made it. So with all my friends and colleagues, I too applaud and honor you and wish you continued success and perseverance to keep reaching beyond the possible and wish you happiness throughout life. It is indeed an interesting story that his friends had to tell. But here are a few more anecdotes that complete the legacy. This sums up the story of one of NIT Trichy's greatest alumni, who has achieved milestones and accolades since his RDC days. But this journey just isn't over yet. <laughs>